Hi, you're watching At The Bench with Norgen Biotech. Today, we will be demonstrating the automated step-by-step -step workflow for the Stool DNA Isolation 96-Well Magnetic Bead System Kit, catalog number 63100. This kit achieves simultaneous isolation of both host DNA and microbial DNA. This kit also yields high quality DNA for sensitive downstream applications, including PCR, qPCR, sequencing, and microarray. To collect stool samples that will be used in this procedure, consider Norgen's stool nucleic acid collection and preservation tubes, which are fully compatible with this kit. You as the user will need to provide microcentrifuge tubes, a flatbed vortex or bead beater equipment, 70% ethanol, 96 to 100% ethanol, and ice. Upon opening the kit, you will find a detailed product insert, bead tubes, two 96 well plates, two 96 well elution plates, adhesive tape, four 1.1 milliliter tubes of magnetic bead suspension, lysis additive A, lysis buffer L, Elution Buffer B, Solution WN, and Binding Buffer I. To prepare your stool samples, add 200 microliters of preserved sample to a provided bead tube, and add 800 microliters of Lysis Buffer L. Vortex briefly to mix stool and Lysis solution. Add 100 microliters of Lysis Additive A, and vortex briefly. Secure tubes horizontally on a flatbed vortex pad with tape or secure the tubes in any commercially available bead beater equipment. Vortex for three minutes at maximum speed. Centrifuge the tubes for two minutes at 20,000 G or 14,000 RPM. Transfer up to 600 microliters of supernatant to a DNA-free microcentrifuge tube. Add 100 microliters of binding buffer I and mix by inverting the tube a few times. Incubate for 10 minutes on ice. Spin the lysate for two minutes at 20,000 G or 14,000 RPM to pellet any cell debris. Load the samples onto the Hamilton Vantage in the location indicated on the deck setup for stool samples. Load the appropriate amounts of reagents into the containers and load them in the positions indicated in the deck setup. Once your setup is complete, it is time to run the extraction method. 600 microliters of each sample is aliquoted into the sample plate. Three hundred microliters of 96 to 100 percent ethanol is added to each sample in the sample plate. The magnetic bead suspension is pre-mixed to ensure homogeneity. And then 20 microliters is aliquoted into each sample and pipette mixed. The sample plate is transferred to the shaker and vortexed for five minutes at room temperature. The sample plate is transferred to the magnet and waits for one minute for the magnetic beads to form a pellet. The supernatant is removed from the sample plate without disturbing the magnetic bead pellet and deposited into the gravity waste. The sample plate is transferred back to the starting position and 500 microliters of wash WN is added to each sample. The sample plate is transferred to the shaker and vortex to mix for one minute. The sample plate is transferred to the magnet and waits for one minute to pellet the magnetic beads. Wash WN is removed from the samples and deposited into the gravity waste. The sample plate is transferred to the starting position and 500 microliters of 70% ethanol is aliquoted into each of the sample wells. The sample plate is transferred to the shaker and vortex for one minute before being transferred to the magnet. After one minute, the ethanol is removed and dispensed into the gravity waste. 
The previous three steps are repeated two more times for a total of three washes with 70% ethanol. The sample plate is transferred to the heater and incubated at 65 degrees Celsius for five minutes to evaporate excess ethanol. The sample plate is transferred to the starting position and 75 microliters of Aleutian Buffer B is aliquoted into each sample well. The sample plate is transferred to the heater shaker and vortex to mix at 65 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. The sample plate is placed onto the magnet for two minutes. The supernatant is aspirated from the sample plate and dispensed into the final elution plate. The purified DNA in the elution plate can now be removed from the Hamilton Vantage and be used for downstream analysis. The provided adhesive tape can be used for the storage of DNA. It is recommended that samples be placed at negative 20 degrees Celsius for long-term storage. DNA that has been purified using this kit can be used in PCR, RTQPCR, metatranscriptomic analysis, and metagenomic analysis. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like this, please like and subscribe. And remember to follow us on all of your favorite social media platforms. See you next time at the bench.